what's up y'all it's your girl Ariana, aka Bree. some of y'all may know me from my couple's channel bankroll nation but speaking of bankroll nation y'all need to make sure you go and subscribe the link will be in the description bar down below but today i decided to go ahead and just make my own channel i asked y'all on my instagram i did a poll if i should go ahead and start it now or just wait everybody told me to go ahead and just do my own channel um me doing my own channel does not mean i'm not going to be on my couples channel we are just still working out our schedules and everything with each other so it's kind of hard to do videos and we don't want to just throw out anything and plus the stuff that i want to do which i've uploaded a couple videos on there of just me but i feel like they should not go on our couples channel because it's a couples channel not just a, a brianna channel so yeah but Today I'm going to be doing a slick ponytail on TWA with edges because it was a highly requested video, especially an edges video tutorial. Like everybody is always DMing me about that. And you know, I might as well throw it into this. So if you guys want to see how I do it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the things you're going to need, which I have it all lined up right here. I got some water. There's not very much in here, but I got some water. I got my gel, my Eco Styling gel. I got my got to be glue because I like to use this. I like the extra hold, the extra slick. I also have my curly curl jello. I believe that's what it's called. This shout out to Zarka. She put me on to this. Um, I got my hairspray. I normally do not use hairspray, but since my hair is so short, I have been using hairspray a lot more now. Which I almost dropped it next you'll need a brush it is dirty this is mainly just gel y'all don't do me it is just gel because i like when i did my brush into the gel i used just the top part so that's why it looks like that i also got my comb that way i can comb through my hair after i wet it that way it's detangled and then i got my edge brush i really don't care for it i'm not gonna lie to you guys everybody was using them so i was like you know let me jump on a bandwagon let me use it i don't like it like i really don't like it's just harder for me to do my edges with it i don't know why but i do like it because the brush is hard so it helps me to slick down the front a little bit better so i use my trusty old toothbrush and my comb which is basically the same thing but i don't know it just works better for me so i don't know i may try to do it with this but who knows and i got my little ponytail i've had this for a while now i really need to get a new one because if you can see uh this one is very thin because i've had it for so long it's starting to rip so i do need to get a new one before it just completely gives out on me because now that i can wear my hair and ponytail again it's constantly with me constantly pulling on it to tighten it <sighs> eventually that hell's gonna get out you feel me and i don't need it to get out i got it from a beauty supply store it has a clip down here at the bottom and a clip here at the top you know clip it on but yeah let's go ahead and get into this y'all my hair is dry right now i washed it about two days ago and i've had my bonnet on ever since i haven't gone nowhere i haven't done nothing to my hair i legit just been keeping my bonnet on and going to sleep and waking up so beware for what you're about to see but just know at the end this is gonna be a cute ass little hairstyle you'll feel me but this is my hair right now it has actually grown i'm gonna try to kind of move this way so that y'all can see it's actually grown um if y'all have followed me on my instagram like y'all know like i cut my hair like real 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 short but yeah let me get a blanket or a towel or something to put over my legs because i don't like when i get wet so just give me one second <laughs> okay i got me a towel that way my legs don't get wet and stuff also i have a mirror right in front of me right there so if i'm looking this way it's because that's not where my mirror is because i don't think i'm gonna really be able to do it just looking in there especially once it gets to slicking and doing my edges because heck no i gotta be uh, really looking but y'all see how dry my hair is right now that's where mm -hmm. the water in this comes in but right now i'm gonna go ahead and spray it i don't want it too too wet but i want it damp enough because when i use the got to be glue how you get the got to be glue out of your hair is by um what's it called putting water on it and if i have a whole bunch of water in my hair then it's not gonna stay like it's just gonna be thinking it's gonna wash out i hope y'all can hear me over the spring i don't know if it's loud or not i feel like it's loud 
And I'm gonna just comb it out. Oh, oh my hair. Ah. It's, it's not, in, not like bad, bad, but I mean, when you ain't done it in two days, you just been sleeping on it. I had no product in it or anything. Girl, what was you thinking? Okay, so it's pretty much come down. I mean, I don't have a lot of hair to really deal with. And I'm not very tender-headed. I mean, things do hurt in certain spots, but I'm not very tender-headed. So, y'all look at my little afro. I think it's so cute. I keep moving this way because I feel like my TV right there is kind of blocking it off. Since my hair is black and my TV is black, I feel like you can't really see it. So I'm kind of moving, but yeah. So this is my hair all combed out. Now I'm gonna get my curling Dillo. I'm not gonna put a lot just because I'm not really wearing my hair out like this. I'm just gonna put enough to make sure that it's moisturized. Cause this is a conditioning and hydrating gel. So, you know. It'll work great. Just putting that all throughout my hair. Make sure that my hair is very well moisturized. Whew. Okay. I'm going to put my bottle right there. Wipe off my hands because, y'all, I hate, I hate stuff on my hands. Like, that shit, it be bothering me. Like, I just hate it. But now I'm going to go ahead and comb it right back out. I am going to do a middle part just because it's a little bit easier. I can't do a side part. It's just easier and looks nicer when I do a middle part since my hair is so short. And because I like really like it whenever it swoops a little bit lower. But I kind of got to keep it like up here because it's still so short. But I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, there's some hairs in here. My hair started coming out. Y'all see that? But I'm going to go ahead and part it in the middle as best as I can. And I'm going to get this brush and just kind of brush this out the way like that. Depending on how long you want your um, part to be, I saw far back, you'll part it. I kind of like mine to go at least to the middle of my head. Ooh, I did this part good the first time. It's a little crooked. But I did it good the first time. Normally it takes me forever to do. But yeah, you're just gonna part it. Okay, y'all. Hey, you see I'm struggling right now. I'm going to try to get this part. Oh, I look crazy. I'm going to try to get this part as best as I can. And then I'm going to come back to you because this girl. Nah. Got my hair parted as best as I could. The next thing I'm going to do is get my gel. This is my Eco Styling Gel. The Professional Styling Gel. Crystal. Max Hold 10. Okay. So, we're just going to open that up. Like I said, the reason it's got all that at the top is because I go like this. And then, we're just going to slick it down. I don't really have to part my hair and, you know, slick it and then part it again, slick it. I just kind of just slick it. I mean, that's just my hair texture. I guess I can do that. I feel like if your hair is a little bit more on the kinky side, that you're going to have to. Um, actually part it more often but with my hair texture I do not have to but I do like to go over it with a comb a very small rat tail comb like this just to get like more of the bumps out so that's what we're doing right now just putting a lot of gel a lot in my hair 
and just slicking it back also i wanted to ask y'all because i don't want to just constantly come on here and say hey y'all even though like that's my thing like i could say hey y'all you know because i'm a little texan and whatnot and i don't know i just kind of like it but i want something very catchy that i can say but i just i don't know what to call y'all like I don't want to call y'all my babies either because a lot of people have that. Like, a lot of people. And I don't want to be like everybody else. Like, I'm not like everybody else. And just like with my YouTube name, um, it was just my first and my last name. But I was like, that is so basic. Like, everybody has that. Like, just their first and last name something like that i was like i don't want to just have my first and last name so therefore i have it as it's abriana right now um i want to change it i wanted to do like abriana's life or um life of abriana or something like that but i don't know if i should or not i just want to try something different from everybody else but I just can't think of nothing. Like, I literally been trying to think of some even before I actually, actually made this page. Well, this channel. But I just can't think of anything. It's just hard. It's so hard. But, yeah. I'm going to just keep on trying to slick this down. I'm almost semi-done. But you see the little girl back here. It, it don't want to slick down right now. But I'm going to just keep slicking it down. And... Yeah, you can just watch the process of me trying to sleep this mess down. So, I got it as slick as possible. I still got little hairs up here, but that's where they got to be blue comes in. Let me just move my brushes and stuff out the way. I also like to go over my hair with a towel and just kind of get some of the moisture out of it. Since I am using the got to be glue. And then it just looks like this. I need to get a new one. I think I'm going to get the big one this time because I really just buy the little ones. But I'm going to try to squeeze this out because I need a new one. I got it out. I'm going to just put that mainly towards the top of my head like where i'm doing it now just because i need the top part to look more slick than anything so then i just brush it again brush the other side and i kind i don't know if i want to do like little curls on the side or just leave it all slick back kind of I'm still deciding it depends on how I'm gonna do my edges because I don't know like I've done my edges with my hair slicked back like this sorry y'all I'm trying to get this out and it is so hard because I need a new one but I've done my edges with my hair like this but I don't do it very often I normally just have it slicked back and I go about my day so but since I did the title of this, I'm going to just go ahead and try to do my edges. And yeah. So I'm actually going to, I don't have a satin like scarf or nothing like that. So uh, I'm going to get my edge brush and put gel on it and it's okay. But I don't have a satin scarf or nothing like that. Therefore, I do not actually set my hair. <laughs> like tie it down or nothing so yeah i just kind of go i'm just gonna i really try to slick out the front part so that's what i'm doing now and i just leave it like these i see this over here just use this i feel like this brush really does good with this And y'all, I be getting close and I can just see all of it. Like, I understand my hair is so short, but that bothers me. But I'm going to have to get over it until my hair gets longer, you know? I'll go ahead. I'm 
using my comb I don't want to use my edge brush because I know I'm not gonna be able to use it correctly like not correctly but like it's not gonna be the same outcome sorry I got rabbit fur flying around me first what I'm gonna do I do a little swoop right here in the front so I'm just parting a little bit of hair right here I'm gonna get this a little handy dandy toothbrush and then swoop my hair in the front like so as you can see and see and you can see hey, yeah my forehead up here look a little red I got some swooping and stuff too hard you feel me now y'all there's something in my eye and i don't know what it is uh, oh god look at my freaking ears <laughs> i don't even know my ears are red now i'm gonna just kind of do some little swoops to the side i just feel like it's easier for me using an actual comb like i don't know it's just me like everybody else i be saying they be using that little edge brush and they be swoop swooping and i'm like because i can't do it like it kind of makes me upset but i do like to use the brush part because it does help because it's such a i don't know what's the word it's a very hard bristle brush and i like that about it so I like to go over it to smooth it and then just go over it some more I don't know if y'all can hear but can y'all hear my son in the back <laughs> he's in there with my boyfriend right now while well, I'm trying to film this video so I got a little curl over here but we're not worried about that right now and then just part it I'm trying to be very careful. <laughs> They're watching, um, what's it called? What's that called? Fairly Up Parents, because I can hear it. So I kind of just get like the hair how I need it, and then I go over it with the brush and like smooth it out. And y'all, I am kind of struggling. Like, I can't really see my mirror. I got sneezed. Give me a second. <coughs> okay. Had a sneeze real quick. I can't really see just because I got these lights in my face. Oh. Okay, there we go. But I got these lights in my face. And y'all, I wear glasses all day, every day. So, you know kind of hard especially because when i do my edges i'd be like up up so i'm gonna kind of scoot up a little bit that way i can look and i'm gonna like okay that's my gel y'all <laughs> but that way i can get a little bit closer to the mirror and get my little swoops as best as i can put it you know it's right here a slick thing then i'm gonna get this one and just like really put some force into it like that and just brush it back on both sides i feel like my piece right here is not deep enough Just try to make it a little bit deeper so this is my edges so far I wish I could be real extra and do like let's see if I can we're gonna try today we are going to try get a little bit of gel at the tip the tip 
and then we just gonna come put some gel right there okay yeah i gotta use this one and i'm gonna try to do a little curl like i know how to do the little swoops or whatever because i know but i normally do it like towards this way or like down here not technically at my eyebrow but you gotta try new things, you know? It's kind of hard. I'm not even gonna lie. I really am not very extra with my baby hairs. So. I'll be extra. I'll be getting gel all over myself. Like that, y'all. Nah. Nah. Okay. We're gonna swoop it then. y'all it's just this art like you gotta really concentrate with the shits oh and i probably will be cussing a lot more not a lot but i probably will be cussing more on this channel just because it's me on my couples channel we try not to cuss so much because it's a family channel more of a family channel couples channel so yeah, I think it's good enough or whatever. Like, I'm not really into extra edges or nothing like that. So, and I like to use the back of this. Can y'all see it? It's decent. Gotta do it to the other side though. So I'm gonna come back once I do this side because I'm not really gonna be able to see. And then we'll get to actually slicking it down a little bit more and then put it on the ponytail. So I just do one right here. Keep in mind, I ain't never done this before. If y'all want like a regular smeggler, like edges, like my everyday edges, let me know. I just wanted to try something different, you know, with my look or whatever. And peep my shirt, y'all. I forgot to tell you at the beginning, but I love this shirt. It's a, what's her name, what's her name, what's her name? Minnie Mouse. And Jamie picked it out for me. He yeah, got it for me. I don't know what made him want me, what made him want to get me a Minnie Mouse shirt. Like, when I first saw it, I was just kind of like, thank you. But then I put it on, and I was like, hold up, because I like the fit of it. Like, it's a very nice fit on me. So, yeah, but that was random as fuck. But now I'm just slicking it down a little bit more. I already have my points of holder on my wrist. I'm going to get the rest of this got to be glue. Which I'm probably going to ask Jamie and don't tell him. But I'm probably going to ask Jamie and if he can get me some edges. My edges look is it, is it? I have to go over it, y'all. But I'm putting this got to be glue right here in the back. Flatten it out, get some more, putting it around the sides, everything, top, make sure your hair is nice and slick as possible, possible. Okay, get your brush and just brush it all down. It's, it's, I don't know how the word I was gonna say as tight as you can but does that make sense I don't know I don't think so but let's say as hard as you can let's say it again. so okay it's all brush and you're gonna gather it all up in the back I'm using my little comb my rat tail comb and this is my little point so back here I don't know if y'all can see it but you're just gonna get that, get your ponytail holder, and wrap it up. Next, you're gonna slick it some more because you're about to add bobby pins. If you don't need bobby pins because your hair is a little bit longer than this, you can skip this step. I still have to use bobby pins because, yeah, my hair is not long enough yet nice and slick except for that on the side i seen it through the little camera 
I mean, the phone. I don't know. I always say camera. I know it damn well. It's not a camera. But I'm just kind of fixing up my edges. I have to fix up just the swoop in the front too. Gonna get a little bit more of my got to be glue. Oh, I'm struggling. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I took off my eyelash because my eye, it was bugging, bro. Like, oh my God. I took off my eyelash because I had something in my eye and I could not get it out. So I took off my eyelash and it stopped bothering me. So, could have been something on my eyelash. Could have been the dust flying around. Who knows? I just pushed it back. But let me grab my bobby pins real quick. I got my little bobby pins in this little thing. And then I go bobby pin right here on the sides first. Every time. Like, it never changes. I always bobby pin on the exact same sides. Exact same spots. Let me slick this back a little bit. And I hold it this way. Like with the, I hold it like this. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I feel like it holds my hair a little bit better than if you just hold it this way. So I flip it. You see my little hair sticking out on the side. But the good thing about this ponytail too, it's a, not big big but it's a big ponytail so it kind of hides some of the other pieces of my hair i just put about three to four on my hair in those spots because like i said the ponytail will hide it some so they're in there now i'm gonna put, go ahead and do my ponytail well actually i'm gonna spray my hair first i always spray my hair first Now I'm going to get another bobby pin and I'm going to put it like right here in the crown of my head towards the back and right here because that be sticking up. Now with your ponytail you get your ponytail like I said it has a comb up here and a comb down here with an adjustable string. Just put it where you want to put it. I always hook it at the very bottom and then I kind of go up a little bit more. And then get the adjustable string and pull it. Oh, I gotta fix it because it kind of came up. I fixed it real quick. As tightly as you can. Make sure it's comfortable though because sometimes I can't make it too tight on my head to where it's just not comfortable at all. It's not going nowhere. I look crazy with this one eyelash but i like to kind of pull it at the back a little bit that way it's a little bit more comfortable like that you can put a bobby pin to hold um like get a bobby pin and bobby pin your hair right here at the top part sometimes i do sometimes i don't today i'm not but that's another option for more security for you but now you see that you got the little string hanging you're going to get the string, wrap it around like so, just wrap it around your ponytail, and then you get a bobby pin, can't open it, get a bobby pin, and pin it, normally mine does not wrap all the way to the back, this is different, normally it stops like right up here, but yeah. And you're pretty much done now um you just fluff it out like you want it i try to make sure mine looks a little more even Let me turn the camera it's kind of hard to see but i like mine to be pretty much the same on all sides so i stretch it out like so it's kind of hard to see with my tv that's why i keep it out but yeah, now I'm gonna get a little bit more of my got to be glue. Oh, 
almost on everywhere. And I'm gonna put it on my edge brush. Like I said, my edge brush has a hard has hard bristles, so it helps to keep it slick down. The rest I need it on this side. A little bit, a little bit. Just slicking it. Then take this bobby pin out right here and just replace it. Just have my hair is slicked a little bit better now. I feel like I need another one. So this side has about like four bobby pins on it. Yeah, give me a second. I'm going to put my other eyelash on and then kind of get this to sit down a little bit better. And then I'm going to come back. All that bad bitch needs is a... This is the end result, you guys. Let me fix the lighting a little bit. This is the end result. Um, I kind of like my edges. I think it's kind of cute. It's kind of different for me. Um, I was at first going to do it right here. I didn't even mention this when I was doing it, but I was going to do it right here at first. But I was like, mm, like both right there. No. So I did it at the top. But I could have did better. But like I said, I don't really do extra edges like this. I used to, though. My second time doing my big chop. This is my third time. But my second time doing my big chop when my hair was red. Why? Why did I do that to myself? Can some let me know? Like, those was not cute, like at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was a highly requested video, and yeah, make sure you have my post notifications turned on so you do not miss a future upload. Make sure to subscribe. Like, you have to subscribe, y'all. Like, subscribe. It'll really help me, and I really appreciate it and yeah future video ideas just comment down below make sure to follow me on instagram which will be in the description bar down below and that's all i gotta say like i don't know what else to say but i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye